Oh, it is time for some receipts. You guys remember these horrible rumors from back in the day that's still going on today about Megan being pregnant as a teen? Remember that? You remember? Good. Okay. For those of you who are not aware, and that's just our casual viewers of all of this royal drama, there are a group of people on the internet that we call the derangers, and they make up all types of conspiracy theories based off their hate for Meghan Markle. And one of the conspiracy theories was that Meghan was pregnant as a teenager. And this is Meghan right here when she was like 16 or 17. And apparently because she has a little belly or whatever, could be Photoshop, that means she was pregnant. And this is the father. And this is Daria condoning it, this teen pregnancy. That's, that's what they were saying. However, based on this article, we're going to get to that as well, this whole entire article. This article was released yesterday. Meghan Markle's cousin from the Raglan side, her mother's side, released these very old photos that we've never seen before Megan as a child. This is the cousin right here. His name is Sean. He's the son of Joseph Johnson, who is Megan's uncle. And because I know people don't really read articles anymore, I actually read the article. And there's something in this article that people just, I don't, I'm not seeing anybody talk about it. Sean says, some of the stuff is just harsh and I know it's fake. You just try, you just talk, try to chalk it up to the internet culture and that's just the way people are around celebrities. I've even seen stories about me. There's an article, it's not one of the popular stories, but this said that me and Megan were dating or something like that. It's a picture where we were young and at the time, and she had just, I don't know, a little belly or whatever. We were just kids, but there were people speculating on TikTok. This guy is this guy, her cousin, that we've always said it was her cousin, but now, it is in print that that is her cousin. And the sad thing about this whole thing is even with receipts, factual receipts, these crazy people will still believe it's a lie. This is who we're dealing with. Also, it is time to start debunking a lot of these crazy conspiracy theories. And hopefully we can free these people from some of their psychosis. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. 